Hello, Dark Pivot here with another Hammer Editor tutorial. <coughs> and in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you to make sliding doors. So let's begin. I'm going to make a simple map real quick. Okay, so here's my very simple map. I'm just going to lower this wall a little bit. And so this is um, how you're going to create a sliding door. You're going to, first you want to make an info player start, or info player terrorist, kind of terrorist, whoever, just for a reference of how tall the door is going to be. If you're going for a realistic looking map, then uh, you want to make it about two feet taller than the person but you know um, it doesn't have to be very accurate so I'm gonna I'm gonna get a, this kind of texture and I'm gonna make it a little bit wider than the person lift it off just keep it exactly lined up with the floor don't go over it don't go inside the floor and I'm gonna lift it up about that high now make sure that it's like this. It goes entirely through the wall. <clears throat> and press enter. Now you have what is going to be your sliding door. So you're gonna once once it's in there where you want it to be and it's at the same size you want it to be, right click and click carve. Now when you move it out, you see that you made a, a perfect tunnel right here. It's perfect. So let's stick it back in where it's supposed to be. And let's make it as you want your door to be now. So that's how I'm going to make mine. It's just going to be like that. Now, one more thing. You, you have to do this if it's a sliding door. It's like an epic failure if you don't. Because it's going to mess up and merge the textures. Move it one grid space um, extra that goes into the side that y it's gonna move so it's gonna move it's gonna move this way so I moved it one pixel that way one space that way um, <clears throat> just trust me you have to do that for a sliding door okay now that you have your sliding door I'm gonna align the textures just a little bit because you know it's always good to align the textures. Okay, it's close enough. It's it's kind of hard to align textures. Um, now, hold on. I just really want to do this for some reason. Okay, now. <coughs> Click your, your brush, which is going to be the door, and control T. Now, it's going to start as a funk detail. Erase that, delete it, backspace it, whatever, and um, change it to funk underscore door. And click apply, and now this little dot has appeared in it. That means that it's turned into an entity. Um, so now you have your door and <clears throat> I'm gonna teach you how to make a button too don't worry you're going to uh, go to flags uh, uncheck touch opens unless you want it to once you touch it it opens I'm gonna make it toggle you always want to make it toggle um, that's it and if you want to if you want so when you press it it when you press the use key which is E um, on the door, you can use use opens, but I'm not going to do that because I'm going to show you how to make a button. Click apply, and now this is how you get it to go the right direction. If you want to go up, 
this is really easy. You just want to make sure that the wall is tall enough for it to go the entire height of the door. If you want it to go up, you just find moving direction, move direction, go to the drop down list and click up. If you want it to go downwards, you just click down. But let's say um, we wanted ours to move left, right? So you're going to make it, this line right here, line up with the top view. So if you want it to go left, you want to make it go uh, left of the top view. If you want it to go right, you do it right at the top view. So I'm going to get it to 180 degrees, because that's left. You want to make sure it's exactly an even number like that, 180 apply. Now we have a door that will open left. Now you, you want to change the name. You got to make the name something. So I'm going to name it tutorial door. Apply. Now let's make the button. So I'm going to get the button texture. You know what? I'm just going to make it this. Okay make a button, make it fairly small but rectangular. Make sure it's one unit in if you want it to go in. You want to make it rectangular upwards. Wrong side. Stupid message. I'm not going to restart my computer right now. And I have no idea why it's not showing up right now. Oh, duh. I have to be in the brush thing. Okay, make it about at elbow, uh, shoulders length. Uh, make it about as high as the shoulders. That's a fairly good sized door. A button. I'm just gonna fit the texture. And now we have our button, but it, it, does, it doesn't do anything. That's kind of boring, right? So, control T after it's selected and change it to funk underscore button. Uh, you don't have to name the button, but I'm going to do it. Tutorial button. Apply. Now in flags, you can either make it so when you press it, it won't move at all. Or, you know, I'm going to make it use activates and toggle. If you make it sparks, it's just going to emit sparks, but it can still be pressed. So. Use that kind of wisely because it gets kind of annoying uh, to see sparking buttons when they don't really need to be sparking. Um, move direction. Same as this. We want it to move in the wall. So we're going to make it upwards at a 90 degree angle. And it will then go into the wall. And reset speed. Reset time. Where is it? Oh, apply. Delay before reset. Minus one means that it can't be pressed again. But we're going to make it two seconds. So after two seconds, the button will come right back out of the wall. <clears throat> and when the button comes right back out of the wall, you'll be able to press it again. So two seconds, and you'll be able to close it again. If you want to open and close by pressing the button each time, you have to make it a toggle, which I showed you before. Apply. And now time to actually make it affect the door. Go to outputs on the button, add on pressed or on in. Whenever on in is when it finishes moving. On pressed is when you press it. I'm gonna do on pressed. No, actually on in. I like that better. On in tutorial door. It's the door. Um tutorial door toggle 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 after delay of you can make it a delay this is in seconds uh, I'm not gonna make it do it a delay because you know it's not broken or anything so there's no use apply and that is it. it's very simple and basic so now um, if I run this map when you press the button the door will slide open and you'll be able to walk through um, I hope this has been a helpful tutorial uh, bye